Hi everyone, it's me Wendy from Baker of Baker B. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. Here you can find fun, easy and delicious baking recipe, baking tips and tricks, all about baking. If you love baking as much as I do, this channel is for you. All right, I love baking as everybody knows, but before we get started, we need to do one thing. There is a must do step to avoid our cake got stuck into the baking tins, which is line the baking tins with parchment paper. So in this video, I'm going to show you my favorite tricks, how to align the baking tins with parchment paper, but without any hustle. But more than that, I'm not going to show you just the normal round tin, but also I will show you other different types and shapes as well. So let's get started. How to line the baking tins in different sizes and shapes? Lining a baking tin with a sheet of parchment paper is an essential step in baking. This is usually shown at the first step in recipes. By doing this step, it can guarantee the cakes can be removed nicely from the tin after it is baked. But how do we line it without any hassle? Do I really need a pencil to trace the shape of the tin and then cut it out? No, you don't. Let me show you how I line four different sizes of baking tins in a quick and easy way. Way number one, deep and round tins. I use it all the time to bake different cakes. Get a sheet of parchment paper which is slightly bigger than the baking tin and a pair of scissors. Then you are good to go. First of all, you need to fold the paper in half. Then turn it and fold it in half again. You now have a rectangle. Then fold it again to make a triangle. Make sure the points in the center is lined up from each fold. Then fold the triangle in half again and again. Fold it one more time. You now have a very slim triangle, haven't you? Now this is the edge of the paper. You need to be aware of it because you won't get a circle if you cut across this edge. Then get your tin, place the triangle over the center of the tin. I always eyebrow it. Then cut the triangle at the edge of the tin. Unfold the triangle. You now have a perfect circle for your baking tin. If you find the circle is too big, just like mine, you can fold it back into a triangle again and cut it shorter. Remember, never cut it too short at the first cut because you always can go back to cut it shorter. Ta-da! There you have a perfect circle for a round baking tin. Next, you need to grease the tin with butter or spread with a brush. Or you can use cooking butter spray as well, whatever you have in hand. Finally, place your perfect circle parchment paper to the tin and press it right to the edge. This folding method is suitable for any sizes of any round baking tins. Give it a try if you need to line round baking tins next time. Way number two deep and square tins. This deep square tin has four sharp corners and has a movable base. Maybe you will think how to line the tin properly without any cakes got stuck at the corners. Here is the trick. Now get a sheet of parchment paper which is slightly bigger than the tin. Also it is better to have a rectangle one because you can lift up the cake by pulling those two longer sides after it is baked. Then push the paper down along the four edges until you reach the corners. Then take the paper out, you will see those four indentations. Then cut it diagonally from the edge towards to the points. It really doesn't matter how precise it is, just cut it diagonally. Just like this. Then grease the tin with the butter using a brush. Make sure each corner is greased. 
then get the cut paper, follow those four points, and push the paper down until it reaches the bottom of the tin. You need to slightly adjust these two corners by crossing them together so that they can be placed nicely in the tin. If you found this little bit of piece annoying, you can just simply reverse the big one to the front. Then your cake tin is ready for the cake batter. Way number three, loaf tin. It is narrow and deep, and I use it all the time to bake one of my family's favorites, lemon loaf with lemon icing. Mmm, yum. This way is very similar to the square tin one. Get a rectangle shape of parchment paper, place it on top of the tin, then press it down along the edges until you reach the bottom. Take it out, then you will see the four indentation. Then use a pair of scissors to cut it diagonally, just like this. Then grease the tin just like the square one. Get your cut parchment paper, use the four points as a reference and line them up with the tin. Press it down until it reaches the bottom. Then place each two corners across each other, just like this. How quick and easy is that? Now the next step is totally optional. I found this extra bit is quite annoying. Um, actually, I'm a bit OCD. <laughs> so I cut it out and make it look tidier. How simple is that? Way number four, shallow square or rectangle tins. I use this kind of tin to make brownies or Swiss roll. They are just perfect. Basically, line the baking paper into these two shapes of tins are the same. Get a rectangle shape of parchment paper, place it on top of the tin. Cut two lines from the edge of the paper to the corner of the tin, just like this. Then turn the paper. Make sure the ends of those two lines have to be placed on top of the edge of the tin. Then repeat the same process on this side. Next, use these four lines as a reference. Roughly cut out the four corners. Just like this. Grease the tin with butter. I like using a brush because I can make sure every part of the tin is well greased. Then place your cut parchment paper into the tin. Gently press the paper to the edges. And you don't need to do this, but I like my tin look neater, so I cut out a little bit. But I do leave some left behind because it will be easier to leave up the whole cake out from the tin once it is baked. There you have a shallow baking tin lined with a parchment paper perfectly. This is how I use the exact same way to line my shallow rectangle baking tin. It is so simple, easy and quick, isn't it? Alright, that's it. I hope you found this video useful. Um, if you have other tips and tricks, please leave your comments down below and I would love to learn from you. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. And make sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to learn more tips and tricks. Alright, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.